Hi. <laughs> Today is March 11th, and I'm going to read from 365 Days to Embracing Forbidden Emotions, Daily Guide to Peace and Fulfillment. And let's see what it has to say. <clears throat> Something just happened weird with my um, computer screen. And my cat's not even here to be playing around with it. So, change your thoughts and you change your world. Norman Vincent Peale. And I have to say, Norman Vincent Peale, that is the first self-help book that I ever read, The Power of Positive Thinking, when I was 16. So, my journey began at 16 to start reading what I would call personal development self-help books. So, interesting. Okay. Here's where the how comes up again. I believe that when my thoughts change, my outer world changes. And the how is how this happens, in, in how this happens, can be answered with tapping as one option. When I catch myself circling the drain, elbow deep in dark thoughts, I can tap and go deeper into this way of thinking and ultimately find that there is relief that's so important to my well-being. Finding relief is all I have to reach for. Sometimes relief means I was in the pit of despair, but I have now moved on to feeling angry. This is a win if I can see it that way. Despair has this hopelessness within it. Anger can be both healthy and unhealthy. So when I've been debilitated with despair and I'm now angry, I'm actually moving in the right direction. I don't intend to stay stuck in anger, but what if this but what if being angry instead of feeling despair is enough for me at this moment? Then I make my anger okay. I eventually move to a better feeling place. It's good to remember that there's not a single bad or forbidden emotion. It's the actions that come that can that come from okay, let me do that over. It's the actions that can come from the deeper suppression of emotions that can cause problems in my world. As I learn to embrace all of my thoughts with tapping, I can find that my thoughts do change and become more uplifting naturally. A uh, thought for the day, my thoughts are just thoughts. They need not define me anymore. They come and go, and tapping helps me to move through them. So let's do some quick tapping. Karate chop, even though I do want to change my thoughts. But that's a big ask. Especially when I have a ton of momentum towards negative thoughts. I choose to acknowledge this truth right now. Even though I really want to change my thoughts. I want to be more optimistic and positive. But that's hard when I have a lot of momentum going. Towards feeling negative thought, ne negatively. <laughs> Bobbling along here. Even though I really want to change my thoughts. What if I can't stop my thoughts, but I can not interrupt them? And that makes all the difference. I'll take these off, go to the eyebrow. I want to change my thoughts. But what if the way to change my thoughts is just to notice them first and then interrupt them so that I slow the momentum of the thoughts that don't serve me. If I can remember that I can't stop my thoughts but I can interrupt them that can make all the difference for me. So what if today I can just set the intention to interrupt my thoughts 
when I notice thoughts that aren't serving me, and what if before I know it, I've really shifted and I start to feel less negative and then less negative and before I know it, I'm actually feeling kind of positive. And what if that's letting me know that I'm shifting my physiology and changing everything from the inside out. Because that's where true lasting change begins. And what if today is the beginning? All right. And that's it. So um, if you find this helpful, you can go back. I'll post this here shortly and I'll load it onto YouTube. And um, that's it. Have a great rest of your day and see you back here tomorrow. Bye-bye. Or if you want to join in about 20, 38 minutes, I'm doing that uh, free call with about the affiliate program. Even if you don't want to do the certification, if you want to be an affiliate and you know somebody that's interested and you want to get paid, you can hop on the call. Um, it will be recorded, but you do need to sign up. Hey, Julie, you do need to sign up for the calls to get the recordings. Just I can't just go and send recordings individually to any everybody. So what I would say is if if you're um, if you don't want to get the email, I mean, you, if you want to just get the recordings, just sign up for the free call and the link that's here. I'll put it below. Hey, hi Diane, hi Julie, and then you'll. Um, and then if you know someone and you, I mean, because I plan to do this every year and who knows, maybe twice a year, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but then you can get paid if you know someone that wants to do the certification. Um, why not? You might like get some nice grocery dinner money or whatever. So you'll get paid anywhere from like 200 to 250 depending on how the person signs up. So if you want to learn more about that, just sign up for the free call that starts in a little over a half an hour. And... Um, It'll, I'll, I'll give the details on that as well, and I'll, I'll put, post the link below this video, and um, that's it. Julie, Diana, that's what I can tell is here, and uh, this will post shortly so you can listen to the reading and tap along. All right, bye-bye.